for your tools you need a pipe cutter or a hacksaw. I use a pipe cutter because it doesn't leave any burrs on the pipe like a hacksaw. This cuts really straight. Um, you need some sandpaper. You need a tape measure to measure your pipes. You need primer and glue. I use Odie. And make sure it's not outdated or clumpy or it won't work well and your valve won't be as safe when you go to test it. And uh, also you're going to need a little bit of epoxy. And the epoxy is going to be used on the front of your piston. I don't know. You can see it a little bit there. But that's basically to keep air from leaking inside there and out these bolts because that'll leak air not too fast but still you need to seal that up so it doesn't leak air okay now we're gonna start to assemble all the parts so uh, we're gonna start with the T and we're gonna take the two inch piece of pipe just the two inch PVC and put it in one side doesn't matter what side they're both the same don't put it in too far though because if you do, you won't be able to get it out. Then take the two inch female adapter, put that on the other side of the two inch pipe. Once again, not too tight. So you're gonna have this, but the pipe's not in all the way. You can see the gap in there, but anyway, it's not gonna be that long. When we put it all the way in, it's only gonna be about that much out. And then on the other side, we're gonna take our piece of two inch schedule 80, put that in a little bit, then we're gonna take the one and a half inch piece of pipe, one and a half inch PVC, and then take the one and a half inch female adapter, put that on, and this whole thing is going to slide right into there. And now you'll see that's pretty much where it's going to end up. Now the piston is going to go in the two inch PVC, and if you made the piston right, it should go right in and it should slide really good. Now you can pretty much see how the valve is going to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain the workings of the valve now. So what happens is the air is pumped in from the back which is here and there's also a pilot valve here. So um, there's a say, a say you want a ball valve for your pilot valve you want to be able to fill it so you would put like a T here and then a ball valve and your fill valve right here and then you fill it up and it's going to push the piston against the barrel and seal it now no air can go out the barrel the barrel is going to go right here so the barrel is sealed and now the check valve effect that we talked about earlier the air is going to go around the metal washers and push the o-rings against those little grooves and the air is going to leak around the piston. It's going to come out of here. And since the barrel is sealed, it's all going to come this way out this port. And none of it's going to go out the barrel because the barrel is sealed. And now the air is going to fill up your chamber. And so now your gun is ready to fire. You're going to stop filling it with air. And your chamber is full of air pressure. And what happens is the air is exhausted from the back. This is also known as the pilot volume or the pilot. And what happens is the air is exhausted and now there's no pressure acting on the piston to keep it closed so the chamber pressure in here is going to force it back and then all the air goes out the barrel so uh, it's not too hard to understand once you've got the basic idea but if you don't really get it then you can just uh, you can always leave me a comment and I'll be happy to help you understand how it works Okay, so what you need to do is figure out what your pilot valve is going to be. Uh, the simplest way to do this is a ball valve, but um, if you're more advanced, you can use a sprinkler valve. But anyway, whatever valve you choose, you're going to need to, mod to uh, make an adapter for the these 2-inch threads that will go to the size of your pilot valve. So what I did was I made this, which is just a 2-inch male adapter and bushings that go down to one inch threads which is going to be the size of my pilot valve so this is only for my 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 scenario whatever pilot valve you choose you're going to have to make the adapter that goes to the uh, the size of your pilot valve alright so now we're going to start to glue the first thing I'm going to glue is this 
this piece of one and a half inch pipe into the female adapter. I'm gonna glue this piece of pipe into this fitting. So uh, I'm not gonna record me priming and gluing and all that because um, you should already know how to do that. And if you don't know how to do that, then go watch another video and learn how to do it. Or you shouldn't be building this at all if you don't know how to prime and glue PVC pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this and then I'm gonna show the next step. All right, crazy me jumping ahead of myself in this tutorial. Uh, I forgot to mention that on this little piece of one and a half inch pipe that I just glued into the one and a half inch female adapter, um, on one side of it, you need to make sure it's cut perfectly straight and that it's perfectly smooth because this is what your piston is gonna be sealing against. Sorry, this is what your piston is gonna be sealing against. So uh, it needs to be straight so that the piston is perpendicular to it and um, that it, it's smooth so that the rubber can seal on it perfectly. Now I used fine sandpaper to polish mine and uh, it's really smooth and it's straight. So that's gonna uh, make it so that when you put it in the T, it's nice and straight and that the piston can seal on it. And don't rush this step because this is essential to, the, to your valve. If you don't do this step correctly, your valve isn't gonna work. If it goes in there crooked, your piston is gonna go on it crooked and it won't seal. All the air is just gonna rush out the barrel and that's no good. So take your time on the step when you're gonna cut this piece of pipe and sand it really good and make sure it's really smooth. And that was a big bolt of thunder. All right, I glued this piece of pipe into the female adapter. And now the next step is to glue the piece of Schedule 80 PVC onto all the way up this piece of pipe. So it's gonna be glued on right there. So you need to prime the piece of pipe right here and prime the inside of this and then glue it all the way on. And then after you put it, after you slide this piece of pipe over this piece of pipe, you need to clean the surface of this pipe because remember this is the pipe that we cleaned earlier and we made it perfectly straight and uh, shiny so that the piston can seal it. So you don't want a lot of glue and crap to get on there. Another big bolt of lightning. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and then we'll go to the next step. All right, I glued the piece of Schedule 80 on, and uh, of course a little bit of primer got on the piece of pipe, but that's nothing we can't fix. Um, so we can just take a little bit of sandpaper to that and get it all clean. And uh, we're going to set this aside and move on to the next step, which is gluing this piece of pipe into these two fittings. So uh, what you want to do is take the piece of pipe out of course and prime and glue both ends of it and same with these two fittings and glue it all together just like that and uh, then we'll go on to the next step.